Yes, are able to see the screen? I'm not sure. Batch number six, sir. Yes, sir. Online people are able to see my screen. Guys, please respond. Are you able to see my screen? Okay, thank you. Okay guys, yesterday we discussed about yeah. approval process, okay, why we are using approval process means any record, not only the request, any opportunity or any record as per your business, if you want to require any approval from your hierarchy, in that case we are using approval process, okay, in the approval process we have what about that? Uh, if you want to start the approval process, first you need to define which object belongs to approval process. Okay, you need to select the approval process respect to object. After that, when it is started, what is the condition? In our case, what is the condition, guys? Start date and end date not equal to MT, right? Approval process, yeah. See here, leave request approval process closed. Yeah. See here, this is the process name and leave request. See guys here, entry criteria is see here when this approval process is started, leave request is an object. Start date not equal to null and end date not equal to null. So whenever you are entered start date something and end date is something. That means don't be blank. See here in this case. Yeah. So start date and end date both are not equal to end. This is the criteria here. For example, opportunity. In the opportunity point of view amount or stage or something whatever as per your business you need to add the condition okay so this is the entry criteria now entry criteria is there if you compare with the workflow workflow we have two types of criteria right one is evaluation criteria second one is rule criteria here only entry criteria okay so then whenever once you are activate this, what happened? We are getting the button called submit for approval. Okay. So whenever your approval process is active, this button will be coming. If you click on that first, it is see the background process is important. How the system is understanding. Okay. When you click on that, that means once you are creating the record. Okay, here for example not marriage for example john is a user okay john is an employee john creating the record whenever he click on the submit for approval then first it is checking this condition entry criteria what is the criteria start date is not empty and date is not empty see start date is not empty and date is not empty okay then immediately who created this request? Who created, for example, John? Resuming that. Here, reception user, John is one more employee. Then it is directly going to the John record, John user record, and check. See here. See, owner is reception user. It is going to that guy record and and check who is the owner sorry who is the manager that is it then oh the system is understand i need to send this request to the respective manager 
we are already configured that if you remember while you are edit this name and description entry criteria if you see this one these are different mistakes see we are all next automatically approval determined by manager we are already configured but here there is some other options also available what are those role see custom field or some roles role means uh, queues right sometimes the uh, approval may be multiple users right any user is accepted then we are getting so that's the reason here you need to add that okay now the system send this request our leave request to this manager okay now manager having the what about that that record how the manager able to see there is the first way is home in the home in the below here all the approval whoever send the approvals all the requests are come to here this is the first one second one is for example he is not able to log in okay in that case how this guy getting the how this guy knows one request is submitted for approval okay See guys, here me approval request. Reception user has request to your approval for the following item. What is that? This is the request. That means the manager get one email notification as well. Whenever that guy open that record, see, I think it is already done. The approval already done. Okay. So then this record is open. Which record? this record is open now he is click on the button and approve or reject something like that. understand but here you need to understand user point of view employee point of view we have a only one button what is the button submit for approval okay but approval point of view approval may be manager or senior manager who are in that case we have we have three buttons what are the buttons approved rejected recall right so but always this recall button is not available okay so when it is available means here there is one If you want recall button, you must enable next automated approval button by not this. Hello, submit to recall approval request. Understand? So if you check this, then only recall button is available. Okay? How to check this? If you directly edit, this not possible. To what about that? Activate. So here the last option, initial submitter is the last option. If you click on that, in the below, in the below, see, there is a checkbox. Okay, you can enable it. Now, here, these are the one, two, three, four, five steps actually. Okay, five steps. Within the five steps, you need to see what about that. Configure only four. One is for submit for approval remaining three for manager point of view so that means initial submitter in the all the cases whenever the end user submit for approval first field is updated we need to track the field right so that's the reason in the leave request we are creating one status field custom status field, uh, custom status field within that 
how the user knows that means employee knows my request is submitted or my request is uh, approved or rejected or recalled so that's the reason for tracking the current status of the approval we are creating one status field in opportunity you need to create any based on the request find request you need to create any drop down or whatever it may be so now whenever you are submitted then we need to change the whatever status to submitted then user identified oh my status my request is successfully submitted to my user my manager okay and once it is submitted you don't have option to modify the record why because the request is going to your respective manager right that guy once that guy is approved or reject or recall then only you need to edit your content understand so that's the reason whenever you are submit for approval your request the record automatically locked that feature already provided by the salesforce by default so that's the reason in the initial submitter initial submitter means employee see we are updating this is the custom action what is the custom action status field update to submitter okay then record is logged okay now the request is going to whom manager of the submitter who is the manager naresh so naresh able to see that record okay now now maybe the manager accepted that means approved rejected recall so approval step is there right don't record this okay now for example if it is approved if it is approved that means how the user knows my request is approved by my manager so that's the reason whenever this guy who is that guy manager click on the approve button then we are updating the field to approve whenever he is rejected we are approved to we are update the field to rejected recall in that case also status to recall these are the three steps not only field update guys if you want some other actions also see email alert you need to send any email we know already how to send the email template and everything we discussed outbound message outbound message means integrations okay so if you want to send that email template to the what about that here means the final approval to your submitter you can configure okay in our case not required understand this is the total approval process guys i already uploaded all the documents as of now right it's back 730 yeah right is coming is not your code right oh email to this sir sorry web to leave okay so admin <laughs> see guys email templates and workflows and email to case security model april process okay total concepts are done guys okay now in this we have a process builder and flows i'm not uh, whatever explaining uh, i'm i don't want to complete now why because once our ui and lightning everything is completed then i will explain you why because in the process builder actually those are the admin concepts but as of now we don't know the development right so if i am explain that process builder or flows we are only concerned on the configuration but how to use the coding how to use the lightning components in the uh, flows or in the approval process how to call the apex methods or something as of now we don't know the development so that's the reason these two concepts i will explain in the end of the once our visible core apex and uh, visible force and lightning these three concepts 
done then again come back to the admin understand yeah actually those are the point and click but so many people are explained only point and click functionality but in the real time we are not using point and click through those concept we are calling our apex method we are invoking the we are using the lightning components and everything okay it is a like bit high level but in the real time we must use those concepts actually okay that's the reason i will explain process builder and flows in the end of the all the what about that the coding stuff is done understand okay guys and some concepts so data loader and dashboards also in the last okay so this is the done guys now coding part guys so in the coding part we are using why why we are moving to the coding okay for example guys see guys so this is the table okay this is the normally it is a table right my client is asking i don't require standard table opportunity table okay why because for example here how many records are there 32 records are there see here 32 records right so out of 32 for example in the real time it is more than 1 lakh records 1 lakh opportunities so in that he is not able to identify which which opportunities are closed which records are closed okay so in that case that guy is asking hey whatever the closed records are there i need to highlight the background as green then we are easy to see where is that closed one closed one is this is the closed one record so now the row is we need to highlight the background color is green color next which one is lost all are closed huh? there is no lost okay for example some records are lost we are losing the opportunity in that case background color is green what about red color so client is asking that situation that scenario understand we have a table but that guy required the what about that for example here i am want to see the closed oh this is the go to the stage ah uh, this is the closed ah uh, this is the closed it is very difficult right the ua representation is more clear how if you are highlighting the green color direct oh this is the green ah uh, i don't want to check what is the stage oh this row is green color that means this is the closed one this row is red color oh this is the last something like that so that type of scenarios guys another one for example whenever i am creating the opportunity whenever i am creating the opportunity internally i need to create one lead record or internally i need to send one email okay workflow already there for example i am creating one opportunity record for example test opportunity okay i need to create the charter feed charter feed means you know right uh, we need to feed items we are all done for example i am creating the save record in that when number whenever i am creating any opportunity internally i need to create one contact record so those things are not possible through directly here understand them. so now in that case whatever the features not achievable through the configuration understand then we are going to the coding for example this feature what is the feature for example here see here same this is the table in this table i need to highlight the background color whatever the records are closed then i need to highlight the green color 
so here there is no there is no possibility why we don't have control this table why this is the standard table that code is already written by the salesforce people we don't have access that folder if you have, if you have access using post.com some apex or something you we can modify that but it is a standard table we don't have hook to modify the existing code understand in that case we are going for custom development understand custom development for custom development first coding part any what about that for example the table point of view this is the face assuming that i want to create table okay i want to create my own table like a different different images and some colors and in rich ui okay now this table needs some data right this is displaying the some data like this if you want to create any page i already explained we are using in the ui part visible force pages and lightning components are aura both are same aura components okay the third version also there but we are not covered lightning web components lwc but as a learner please don't learn okay why because you guys are confused all the syntax are same so that's the reason you guys are confused once you are good in these two frameworks then go to after three months or four months then you can learn the lwc okay so these two we are covered okay now using these two i am creating one page but within the page i need to see whatever display the data but data already store where data already store where where to store the data where to store the data guys database means in our case what is that in our case what is that what is the term data we are storing somewhere right what is that salesforce object guys object uh, so this is the object which object for example i want to display the opportunity so of the that means opportunity object in the opportunity object assuming that 1k records are there that means 1000 records are there now please understand how to create the object on the top of it how to create the fields how to store the data or how to modify the content what is the workflows and approval process everything related to the object we are done whatever the background of the history of the object we are already learned understand that means this part is already completed okay object level we are already completed everything that is the admin part okay now in the high level why we are creating the object to store in the data for example in the opportunity point of view assume that 1000 records are there now this records that means this records need to display in our page right if you want to display this data in the page level who will get the data from object to and pass to page who will do that so for that purpose in the middle we have one intermediate layer understand this layer is our coding part both are code but this layer we are using apex language apex same like java but it is not that much of difficult okay apex apex is a programming language in the salesforce 
okay this using this apex code there is so many concepts are there same like the admin concepts using this apex we are fetching the data and uh, passing this data to our page that means in the apex you need to write the logic to fetch the data from the database and pass to the vfs in the reverse for example i am creating here form one form that means i need to create one form submit form so i am entering my name first name last name email something like that for example here see already existing contact is there this is the contact but the client is don't record this ui that guy required in the rich ui understand which ui means uh, the colors are different uh, the fields are different and some images and everything in that case what do you, what do you say again you need to ensure that you need to create your own page what is the client is already sent some screenshots i required like this, the design document i required my form like this the image is like this so fields like this something like that. okay so then you need to create the formula here and uh, here form is you need to enter the first name or last name blah 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 if you click on that this data you need to pass to the true apex and store into your database who will do that the apex is do that understand so if you learn how to fetch the data and pass to the ui how to fetch the data from ui to and store in the database then Salesforce is completed. That is the high level, guys. Any technology, I told you, any technology very easy, but the way of your learning is clumsy. Understand? Any technology, guys. First of all, someone say that uh, this is the new technology. You need to learn how to paste the data and store the database. How to get the data from database and uh, display in the UI. If you learn this cycle, the whatever the concepts are, whatever the the ninety percent of the technology done. But we you guys are confused the way of approach, the way of approach to learn. Ah, uh, this is the first concept, second concept, third concept, fourth concept like that. These concepts are there is no inter whatever the link together, and also where to go, where to learn, we don't know in the middle of the course. Understand? Our final goal is. in the sales force our final goal is only simple guys capture the data from the database and send to the ui how to how to do that how to write the logic get the data from the whenever only in the your application guys any application you see for example flipkart flipkart here we are able to see the data this is the data guys right see here for example hmm i have been see this is this is one image that means internally this is the this is the base guys ui base okay those people are developed for example it is a sales for assuming that so that means this ui is belongs to either vf pages those people are using vf or lightning or lwc anything okay that means this is the ui okay now whenever i am loading this page i am able to see the content that means everything here i have the washing machine right this is one record in the database this is one record in the salesforce database what is that but vfc the way of the data representation is different how is, how this guy see this is the table guys this is the table but this table is not like standard table see here table we are we know table like this like this instead of this that guy is aligned the table in a different way that is the that is the purpose of the ui why see here every product see every product this is the product title what is the price that means product title is a field see please analyze that skills guys 
Understand? See here. Here, this is the title. That means, oh, back end, those people are creating one object. What is that uh, product object? Assuming that. Uh, product object, those people are creating one field. What is the field product name? Right? Next. What is that? Price. But here there is two prices. Right? Okay, leave it. Price item. So what is the price? Actual price is 34,000. Uh, that means in the database, price is a one field. The value is 34,590. Then, if you open this record, this is the record. Okay? <coughs> now, this is the title, this is the rating, and this is the price is a one more field. This is the description of the content, that means long text area. And images are there. These are the related images. Now all the data fades through FX and display on the UI. But the alignment of this UI is like this. First those people are displaying the image under that. This is the UI styling guys. Okay. Our the designers are doing this. But you need to understand in the back end one object is there. Then in the UI that object data we are fetching and display. When? Whenever you are loading the page. Assuming them. So, who will do that? Who will fetch the data? This guy, Apex. Apex fetch the data and passing to UI. Whenever you are loading this page, the data is automatically Apex go to the database and fetch the data and display to the page. So, that's the reason whenever you are loading any site, automatically the Apex is go into the database and paste the data and display it. Understand? In the reverse, for example, we have just captured, display the data. Okay. For example, Facebook. What is it? So this is the form. It's a form. It is asking the data. Which data? Your information. Here, username and password or create new account. Uh, now what is the goal here? Whatever you are entered your first name and surname or mobile number, password and date of birth and everything, the FX capture this data and store into the respective object. Here what is the object? Uh, this is the uh, accounts or something. Okay? By Paul, Facebook, right? Facebook uh, related object. Okay. In that who the FX captured once you click on the sign up, it is capturing your data and showing the respective object. That's it, guys. If you complete this cycle, any technology, not only Salesforce, any technology is completed. You need to concentrate in the development only these two things. On the top, 80% of the whatever the work is done, guys. On the top of it, we need to add some mackups. That's it. The main goal is any technology how to capture the data and store in the database how to retrieve the data and display on the ui you need to complete either see guys if you are open any application see first we are open the um, what is that uh, flip card we are just able to see that means someone face the data and display it. that is the first goal second one is if you are open the facebook we are able to enter the data and it is stored in the database so any application, if you observe, either you are able to see, for example, book my show. Book my show, what? All the data is there. All the movies list is coming. That means all the data display on the UI. On the top of it, you need to enter which ticket you want. Select that, that data is captured and stored in some. So only these two transactions happen any application. If you are identified, for example, HDS, you are entered your username, password, then your data will be displayed. Any application guys, only these two transactions are happening. Any application, if you understand. So that's the reason in the coding level or any technology, not only Salesforce, any technology, you need to learn how to capture the data and store it. How to store data, how to retrieve the stored data and display it into the UI. If you learn, then the entire cycle is completed. If you learn these two things, almost 80% of the technology is complete. 
Understand? Okay. Now come to the sales force. Okay. In the Java is different. The, the whatever the technology, whatever the languages are different. The syntax are different. But high level, all are same guys. So that's the reason. Whenever as a person, for example, I want to now migrate. Some cases I want to move to the Java. So in that case, syntax will be changed. The concept is same. Understand? Here. Storing the data, the sales force we are doing the object. The Java people using the Oracle table, right? Syntax are different. Here we are creating the object through point and click. In the Java people go to the whatever the command line and create the tables, right? In the here in the UI, I am using Visual Codes or Lightning or Web Components. In there and JSP or something I don't know. JSP thing. Okay. Now in the intermediate layer. Where to write the logic to parse the data or store the data? I'm using Apex. The Java people using Java. So everywhere this structure is common, but syntax will be changed. So that's the reason. Don't what about that? Uh, uh, see that uh, it is a different. This this technology is different. This technology is different. Okay. The future, if you want to migrate from Salesforce to other technology, it is not a big deal, guys. It's very easy. First, if you learn something. You are uh, to have the core knowledge. You are easily migrating any technology. Understand? So first, any technology. For example, your friend say that hey, I am using some X Y Z technology. Okay, the X Y Z technology. You need to ask first what is the database. What? How to create the database? In their terms, those guys say that we have some X Y Z, some blah blah blah. So in our case, it is an object. In their case, it is a blah 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 something. Understand? Oh ho. So you need to compare what you learn already. You we are in the sales post. Oh, for us it is an object in there and some blah blah. Ah, uh, what about that? Uh, what is coding? So in our case, a text that guy says that some XYZ. Oh, what about the UI? In our case, it is a visual force or lightning or whatever. So that guy says that something. You need to compare all those things. Mapping. Okay, we are creating a object like this. How to create in your way? You need to learn like that. Understand, guys. So that is a skill, and that is a subject, guys. Don't speak in whatever that like uh, in one area. Okay, you need to elaborate your mind in the flexible manner. Okay, everything same, but only syntax will be changed. Understand, same guys. If you want to go from here to, uh, for example, uh, whatever the US or something. The destination is same. All the people are whatever developing the same project. But I'm going to the either about to US direct flight, international flight. Some people are going to Mumbai and go there. Some people are going to the Dubai and go there. So what about that? The paths are different, but the final destination is common. Understand? Same like here, technologies are different, but all the people designed in the same way. These three layers. What is that? UI layer, logical layer, data. Every technology, these three things are common. Now we are already completed the object layer, database layer. That means over a hundred percent concepts, thirty-three point three, thirty-three point three, thirty-three point three. Almost thirty-three point three percent is completed. Now we need to complete sixty-seven percent. Okay. So first, before going to the whatever the pages, first you need to learn Apex. Understand? There is some concepts. How to do that? First, for example. is in this uh it is a shipping yard container is in there okay so container means it is holding some goods right maybe anything so container means forget about the technology and everything as a human being container means it is already existing in the real world right 
as a kid you are asking uh, what is this ah, it is a container how do you know it is a container it is already visible it is already existing in the real world for example in a laptop laptop is is a what about that one thing right how do you know it is a thing it is already existing okay but see understand the real time first then converting that things into the coding okay so now this is the container if you are asked to any person or any cater what is meant by thing thing means anything already existing in the world right whatever the kids definition like whatever we are able to see whatever already existing right for example we are also things why because ashok is a person already existing in the real world okay container is a what about that thing it is already existing in the real world so it is already existing means please understand that little bit higher it is already existing means it occupies some space in the real world understand resuming that this is the total universe this is the total universe within the universe there is so many things are there same like you there are um, there this building is there same like container also there now forget about this you can leave it universe within that one container is exist now we need to compare this in our technology okay universe means it is a infinite space right now come come to our machine guys which means our laptop in the laptop compared with the universe our what is that hard drive right our memory understand so in our laptop this is my hard disk guys these parts are these concepts are very important if you want to see in the google also it is there is this not available please understand the concept universe is a infinite space we are not what about the how much you know what is the space of the universe we can't we don't know same like in the hard disk we are working with the laptop right so in the laptop already hard disk is there so in the laptop for example my laptop is 1 tb the space is 1 terabyte okay now i am comparing both guys assume that in the real world the universe is there in the laptop hard disk is there both are spaces right in the real world so many things are there what are the container is there one building is there and one bottle is there one bottle is there these are the things right these are the things now come to our machine the hard disk what are there the hard disk first of all whenever you are purchasing the laptop first we are storing our movies first right so movies is there some docs are there and some images are there something like that, right videos are huh? because we movies man okay makes sense please compare with the real time guys okay instead of universe in the real time universe is there universe is a infinite space if in our machine hard disk is there both are compared here infinite space here one tb space here in the universe so many things are there ashok is a person he is there building is there bottle is there and container is there so many things are there here movies dogs images that means in the universe these are the things same like in our hard disk these are the things right now every see this is the thing right yeah this is the thing how do you know it is a thing how do you know it is a some particular product how do you know that means in the little bit high definition guys anything anything it fits exist in the real world that means and the one more definition anything which is occupy some space in the real world so how do you know this thing is exist that means for example here i am saying that 
This is the mobile guys. Okay, this is the mobile. How do you know this mobile is exist? This exist means it occupies some space in the real world. Without space, it is not exist. Understand? For example, this room guys. In this room, assume that this is the room. Here the capacity is 30 members. One more guy is come to the room. It is not possible. Why? There is no space. So that means in the universe it is an infinite space. Within that, so many things are exist. That means without space, what about that? Without space, things are doesn't exist. So now, what is meant by thing means in the high level, anything exists in the real world. That is called object guys. Not our database of object means. So that's it. See guys, you always learn the P tag or MC or something. Object oriented programming language. Object oriented programming language means why those people are saying object means object means every project is designed depending on the real time entities. Real time means for example shipping company project. Shipping company project means depending on the goods or depending on the containers those people are out the project. For example KFC. KFC what is the product here? KFC related that chicken and something. That is the whatever the object. Object means Forget about our database of object means anything which is exist in the real world. That is object. Understand? Table is an object. Why? It is already existing in the real world. It is, it is occupies some space in the real world. That is called, it is not a technology guys. It is not a technical definition. It is a fixed definition. Which is occupies some space in the real world. That is object. Understand? See, one by one step we are going. What is meant by object? Guys, that our object is different. That is a database object. Leave it. Okay? Object is which is exist in the real world. Which is occupy some space in the real world. That is called object. Okay? Now, object means it occupies some space. How do you know how much space it is occupied? How do you know? For example, Ashok. Ashok occupies in the real world how much space? Laptop here is there. Laptop occupies how much space? How do you know, guys? It is an art technology, guys. It is a common sense. How do you know this laptop is occupies how much space? Hmm. Volume, right? We have some calculations. That's the reason. Academic also very important here. We are already learned like one to up to beta currency, right? So, volume of the, what about that? Laptop. What is the volume of the laptop? Length into, width into, height. That is the volume, right? That means, for example, using that here, container. How much space it is occupied in the universe? How do you calculate that? For example, this length is 10 meters, height is uh, 20 meters. This one is 5 meters. Now, how much space is this object is occupied in the universe? How much? Tending to, we have one formula. What is that? Volume is equal to length into, see guys, we are working only through academics. That concept we are converting in the programming letter. Okay? Length into, width into, height is equal to 10 into 20 into 1000 uh, 1000 uh, cubic uh, meters okay don't ask what is the cubic meters okay okay guys in the academics 1000 right mm -hmm. i'm not a math teacher okay so now oh, 1000 cubic meters of space of space in the universe same like in our hard disk, how much space it is occupies in the movie. For example, it is a Bahubali movie or RRR movie. Okay. Now, it is for example, it is a 2 GB. 2 GB. Why? Universe, that, what about the, the measurements are different. Here, what our hard disk is, we are, hard disk space, we are calculating through, what about the TVs, Gigabyte something. So that's the reason here movie is a 2 GB. So here see the guys. 
if the object is if the object is the object space is depending on length width height if the length width height are increased or decreased that occupy space will be impact understand now for example here length is 20 cm length become it will be decreased to 10 then 10 into 10 into 5 500 the the any whatever that in the object level any value will be changed that occupied space will be changed understand so the object occupied space depending on these values now these values are called what about the properties what is that properties 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 so every object occupied space depending on their property for example ashok ashok occupies how much space means ashok whatever the uh, ashok it is depending on the ashok property what is the height what is the uh, length what is the width depending on the ashok properties it will be calculating the whatever the uh, volume of the uh, how much space is occupied please understand every object occupies some space so that's the reason we call it the object okay i say now if the any property will be changed occupied space will be changed understand so that means any pro so depending on the properties occupied space is changed understand so here also movies okay so here movie movie is a in the hardest point of view see guys i already told you any object how do you know it is an object means if it is a of anything if it is occupy some space in the real world anything occupy some space in the real world that is called object same like here movie movie occupy some space in the hard disk in the vision point of view that means movie is an object understand document document is for example 1 mb or 5 mb so document occupy some space how much space 5 mb that means document is an object understand same like images occupy 5 gb that means it occupy space as per our definition which is occupy some space that is called object in the real world same thing we are applying here movies occupy some space but here it is a universal or a hard disk is a space so our hard disk so the movie software some space so that is reason movie is an object in our hard disk document occupy some space so that is reason document is an object in our image in our hard disk image is occupy some space so that is reason image is an object now 100 images are there now i am removing for example what is it called uh, HD images. For example, the directly if you are uh, what about that uh, movie? Movie. For example, it is a uh, now normally we are captured that it is of a 720. The resolution will be increased. Then what happened? The of a space will be increased. if it is a more clarity that means the space is that what about that the it of a space is increased. So movie is movie. of the space depending on the resolution these are not a technical guys whatever we already observed same thing i explained here movie for example if you see that youtube movies 720 pixel 12 12 40 like that right auto something that means if you are increasing that uh, resolution that occupied space buffering space will be increased that means it occupies more space if you are decreasing the resolution it occupies less space so here resolution is a property understand so in the document also image also image also the resolution is a property that means the in our hard disk also whatever you are storing those all those things also already have in the properties so simple guys 
object as per normal fit definition whatever anything which is exists in the real world that is an object now we are drawn up so what is an object which is occupy some space in the real world that is an object okay now when the definition what is that which is having some properties that is called object if you know the skill guys the same definition you need to elaborate in the different different ways the starting as a kid if you are asking any kid hey what is an object those guys are say that um anything is an object anything thing means our what about these things okay now one more step what is meant by thing or object which is occupies some space in the real world that is called object so that is a general definition now you need to elaborate how this thing is occupies some space so how to define how much space is it uh, it is occupies how much space it is occupies how to define based on the property if it is a iphone mobile it occupies some space if it is a tab it occupies more space if it is a laptop it occupies more space why the length and width and the height is increased based on the property it occupies space is different understand that means the occupied space define based on the property that is the final conclusion any object depending on the property the occupied space will be changed okay now leave it the universe come to here movie or document or image or whatever it may be here also these are the objects these objects how much space it is occupied in our hard disk that is depending on the property what is the property of resolution resolution is a property we know how to define resolution guys how to define that resolution everybody knows ah uh, pixels so how to know a pixel for example uh, lcd uhd and uh, um, uh, samsung neo neo you know qlcd uh whatever the the sony oled <coughs> are you had that awards oled right so in the old like black and white tv color tv next lcd next uhd next now oled and samsung the oled is same concept in the samsung it's a new qlcd so if you see this generations the picture quality will be changed it is increased how that means so many people are saying that it is a resolution will be what is the resolution guys anybody as a technical guy if you are asking your father or some uneducated people you need to you need to say the answer guys okay that is what then only you are whatever you learn those people are satisfied how do you define that resolution guys we are already right so many exams right Huh? See, resolution is simple, guys. Why I am saying that? Please, whatever you learn, compare with that. Things are mapping your real world. Understand? Don't uh, whatever the side get my learning things are different. Real world is different. Both are same. But ninety percent of the people don't compare with the real time things to our accounts. If you have compare both things, then you will get the good knowledge. Okay, that is the knowledge. So why ah uh, we are saying that hey that guy has the more knowledge. Why you don't have? Because of the only difference between that guy and you, you are learning in the different way. Real time is different. Real time is normal general life is. If you compare both two and mapping both two concepts, then you will get the knowledge. Guys. So don't what about that uh, think like this is the different part, this is the different part. Okay. So resolution means. Uh, Simple guys means like clarity. Oh, super term. <laughs> resolution means clarity. Everybody knows. But if someone asking, for example, you are, for example, your parents is uneducated or your friend is uneducated, that guy asking, hey, we are, if you are a software engineer, you got, you will get the so many calls from your village guys. Huh? Hey, bro, I am purchasing a TV. So can you suggest me something? Okay, then that guy is asking, what is my resolution? Uh, now you said that it's a clarity. No, it's not good, right? That guy required more, right? Resolution means guys. See, simple. That's the reason. See, this is the 
this is the tv guys okay if you if you come here there is some small grid is there every screen small uh, box is there for example assuming that that is this is the tv this is the small grid assuming that here previously in the black and white or something here it is uh, what about pixel pixel means one light something like okay so for example here one it is a one pixel within the space it occupy one pixel okay now the every generation the same area the pixel the number of pixel will be same area will be increased that means now in the samsung recent i saw the one block it is the 64 64 pixel within the same area previously one after 10 after 32 now in the samsung neo LED, the same area those people are what about that uh, embedded 64 pixel whatever 64 pic pixels that means previously one pixel simple guys in the in our room one light is there use of one light 64 lights are there same room what is the difference right same like in our tv one particular area previous one pixel 10 pixel 30 pixel something like that now it is a in samsung qv area recently i saw that it is a 64 pixel reason i bought that so that's the reason the more than around like four lakhs okay 64 pixel understand 64 pixel so that's the reason the clarity will be whatever that increase understand so this is called resolution guys resolution depending on the particular area how many pixels are embedded understand so that is called resolution same like here also every object every object having some problems so now what is the definition of the object oriented programming right the object oriented programming what is meant by object means which is having some properties in the interview anybody asking what is meant by object object means object everybody said that object means not an object see what is the skill means if someone asking that definition you need to whatever that create that definition in the on the fly understand what is meant by table means you need to tell the table definition ah, table means table fan means fan don't like that that is not a skill guys you need to create the definition on the fly that is the skill that is the knowledge so what is meant by what is that object object means which is having some properties which is having some properties that is called object understand based on the properties we are developing our projects i will tell you how understand object means which is having some properties that is called object so for example ashok ashok is an object how ashok is an object means ashok having some properties for example i am saying that hey this is an object where is the object object means some properties at least some height at least some where whatever that the width at least some height uh, length if it exists then only it is an object can you tell me a is an object or not a a is an object or not what is the definition guys see guys these, these type of questions come from good companies the google or facebook these people are asking this is all. we thought like hey, whenever you were attending the interview we don't know what is once we left the car whatever come to the interview came out to the interview someone asked hey what is it they that they had answer the below he is not he is not asking the science course he is asking some what is the object what is the resolution something that is the skill guys so that's the reason google comes higher the IIT guys are skilled people. We are already saw that right. Hey, uh, one of my friend is he's only two years experience, but he got the 30 lakhs package. Why? He's having the knowledge. Those people are not. So whenever it is possible, you need to come with other technology as well. That is coming. You are not depending on the technology, you are depending on your skill. Understand? So that's the reason that whenever you are coming to the IT, don't stick with the sales focus. You need to learn the subject. Then it is helpful for your entire career. Maybe after 5 years or after 10 years, maybe Salesforce will be there or not. Then you need to migrate some other technology. Right? That thing is happened in the IT industry. Understand? Okay. Because it does not have any properties. No. Okay, tell me. Uh, A is an object or not? Object the why? Because of calculation. 
In F there are some water space and some air space is there. Nice. Yeah, air is also object. Why? Why? Because air, for example, in the balloon, guys, in the balloon, it occupies some space. What is that? Uh, how much air is occupied within the balloon? Means based on the balloon volume. So air also. See, that's the reason some people are saying that what is visible, in, what what are uh, what are things are visible? Those are the objects. And so if it is not visible, but still there is some property. Understand? So A is not visible, but it is an object. An object. Why? It occupies some space, right? In the entire universe, up to some layer, it occupies the A. So A is also object. And one more thing. See, for example, car. Car is there. Car is an object or not? Car is an object or not? Car is an object or not? Car and people. Why no? Why yes? Yes. See guys, please. These are the interview questions, guys. Okay, not small companies, good companies. So, object means if you know the specific properties. For example, Ashok. Ashok is an object. Now, Naresh IT, Salesforce, whatever faculty, Ashok. Then he is an object. Ashok is not an object. Ashok may be. Here Ashok is there. One of the student Ashok is there. Or uh, in the Hyderabad, so many Ashok is there. That means, for example, I say that hey, call to Ashok. Here, call to Ashok means that guy is doing that his friend. That guy is doing that his friend. That means we are not all the people are not estimating the same person, not identify the same person. In your point of view, your friend is Ashok. This point of view, his factor is Ashok. That guy point of view. His uh, childhood friend is an Ashok. All the minds are not coincident in the one person. So Ashok is not a object. Naresh IT within the what about that Salesforce faculty Ashok. Then he is an object. Why all the people? Oh, that guy is like this. Okay, that means all the guy, all the people are mindset is what about that estimated one person. Call. Car means car, not an object. It is a virtual entity. Virtual means I am assuming BMW for something. That guy is in ambassador. That guy is assuming some other. Way. So car means everybody mind is assuming different different whatever the shapes, right? So that's the reason car is not an object. I what about that? For example, uh, I'm BMW A4. Okay, that is the model number. BMW A4 is an object. Why all the people are assuming the same car? Understand? So these are the very small layers, guys. But we are not observed. These are the skills. Understand? So please understand. How do you define the object? Means all the whenever you are say that word, doctor. Doctor is not an object. Doctor is a virtual entity. Virtual entity means my doctor is different, your doctor is different, that guy doctor is different. Right, so doctor means ah, uh, for example, Punjabi, some kind of hospital, some some spa, especially some blah blah blah. That guy is an object. Understand? See, these are the very small layers, guys. But you need to more clarity on these things. Okay? Now, mobile. Mobile is not an object. iPhone 5s mobile. Then it is not. All the people of screen is like this and the color is this something. Like iPhone is not an object. iPhone specific model is an object. Clear? Now, see guys. Here, every object. What is that? Properties are there. Now, in the final definition of the object means which is having the properties that is called as an object. Clear? This is the story, guys. Object. Now, see, it is a real time entity, right? For example, here what is that container? Container already exists in the real world. Now, for example, small scenario, guys. This is the container in the shipyard. For example, thousand containers are there. Okay, thousand containers are there. Thousand containers. Uh, we are loading the uh, TVs, TV boxes. Okay, so like thousand members or two hundred members loading the uh, workers loading the whatever TVs to export some other companies. So other countries. Okay, loading that 
boxes to the containers. Now, thousand containers, every container the size is same, right? In the contractor, it is very difficult. Every see, for example, the manual process. Which means that the ID is not there. The manual process. First of all, you have a business, container business. Okay, you are exporting or import business. You have thousand containers. You are exporting the TVs. Now, what you will do? Every container, one guy is there. He is monitoring how many. He is calculating how many goods are loaded. Okay. For example, you have the manual process. In that case, if you are missing one product, the product cost is maybe one lakh or two lakhs. Right? Within the container, for example, if you have thousand goods, that or is a supervisor. Supervisor missing one pound. If one box is missing, the impact is more than two lakhs or three lakhs. Right? So manual approach is not good. We need to automate that. Thousand containers means per day we lose that ten boxes. Ten boxes into four lakhs are around like forty lakhs lose. So that's the reason it is very difficult. And also thousand containers, thousand supervisors. Right? We need to pay the amount per day. So it is more impact guys. So that's the reason that guy is oh I need one project for this container loading export and import. Then what we will do this guy approach to our IDP. Now what is the solution? Simple guys. In the mathematical solution is very clear. What is that? Uh, the requirement is every container how many boxes are what about it? How many boxes are filled? How you guys get that? One container is there. Within the container, how many boxes are filled? The count of uh, what is that? Volume of the container divided by volume of the box. For example, this is the container. The box is this. Is it clear? This box is, for example, we are uploading five. Five, five. This is the box size. Now all the workers have filled the boxes to the container. Okay. Nobody will. Uh, nobody. There is no supervisors or something. Okay. Now how to calculate the how many goods are filled in the container? Volume of the the mass guys. Forget about the technology. It's a mass. Volume of the container divided by volume of the box. What is that volume of the container? Thousand here divided by Five into five into five, hundred. One twenty five is equal to how many how many boxes? Four, right? Four, eight, 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 eight boxes. Okay, it's a meters, right? Okay, we can convert this something. If it is a centimeters, then two zeros. Around like eight hundred. This is a meters, right? Cubic meters. Eight hundred boards are filled. So now, the who is the contractor don't want to put the supervisor. Hey, fill the other boards. Then what about that? You need to as a software engineer. What is that? We need to create one form like this. How many values he need to fill? First he go to the first container. First container length, width, height. Second uh, box, box length, box width, box height, and there is a button. We are providing one button. That's it. Now he is having one calculator. We are providing that calculator app. Then he is going to the who is that guy? The contact will go to the first uh, container. Ah, uh, all boxes are filled. Then what is uh, what he did? Did see? Ah, uh, volume uh, length of the what is that? Uh, He entered length of the container. The every container length is there, and width. What is the width? Twenty. And height. What is the height of the container? Five. Now length width is the box. Box length is five. Width is five. Height is five. Then if you click the calculate button, this data we are passing to the FX. Here we are writing the logic. Okay, in that logic we are adding this part, what about that formula, and calculating the value and return that. What about that? Eight hundred in the same split. Oh, that means eight hundred. What about that? Goods are filled in the container. 
so now here previously thousand containers thousand supervisor per candidate if you are paying thousand rupees thousand into thousand supervisors how much it is six zeros six zeros means ten lakhs right per day he is gave the wage like ten lakhs rupees but if you are converting that entire thing in the automation in the project wise he don't want to pay ten to ten lakhs per day maximum this quality is for example is in the one crore assuming that one crore within the ten days he will get the result right so manual effort is not there second one is it is accurate by accurate maybe in the manual maybe he is missing some products there is no. so then the contractor will be lose the money so in this case this is a one time investment one crore within the ten days that one crore is coming and also we are not missing any goods understand so here please understand this is the real time scenario we need to convert it as a profit this is the real time this is the real time what is the real time scenario one of the is the right contract is there he is he is an export business he is every day he is uploaded what for that loaded the exported the some goods to the other countries so in that case in the manual approach he need to put that uh, managers supervisors and workers and everything okay but maybe but it is not accurate maybe some goods are missing so that is the problem now that guy is automate the business process then he need one process understand it's a very simple that there is so many things are there just for understanding i told you okay then he approach the it company hey this is my report he don't know apex he don't know visual force he don't know anything okay i need one application this is my requirement every uh, so he is saying that every what about the total story i am loading the thing my what the workers are this 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 for per day i am spending this much of time on but maybe uh, some goods are missing so that's the reason i am facing this issue then you are the guy that means our business people our architects oh this is the problem you need to resolve it he don't know i need screen like this something we are given the solution hey we will give one application if you click on that one screen is available with the go to the container and enter the container length container width container height which goods you are upload uploaded that good related length width height you can upload click on the button then you will get the result you don't know anything so oh, then it's good in their case okay it is good then the project is coming here now here you can understand this container this box is already existing in the real world now that property what is the property 10 is a container property 20 is a container property length is a uh, height is a container property 555 box properties real time properties we are converting as a technique right real time already properties are there that will be utilized you storing in our sales force our techna technology if you are storing the properties in our what about that uh, application what do you use in the hard disk right hard disk only hard disk is the memory space right hard disk in our sales force point of view hard disk. understand but here please understand guys this data we don't want to store why because just i am entering click on that get the result i don't want to store anything that means here we don't require any storing the data we are just get the data see understand here we are just get the data and return the result i don't want to store it so please understand here i am entering this length width height click on the button get the data and perform that action if you want to get the data on the top of it if you want to perform that means that data you need to store something but that storage space not in the permanent storage it is a temporary storage for temporary storage what we will use in the machine ram guys understand so that's the reason so many people are saying that right ram is the ram is used performance will be used understand so here we will get the data and store in the temporary storage forget about the ram or what temporary storage how to store that data in the temporary storage 
ओके आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास गाइस ऑन द डे टू टू टाइम ओके सो गाइस इफ आई एम नॉट एक्सप्लेन दिस इट इज डायरेक्टली आई एम जंपिंग द एपिक्स दैट इज फाइन बट प्लीज लर्न दिस सब्जेक्ट फर्स्ट ओके हाउ वी आर कन्वर्टिंग द रियल टाइम टू द आईटी प्लीज मैपिंग दोस थिंग्स ओके इन द रियल टाइम प्रॉपर्टीज द प्रॉपर्टीज हाउ वी आर डिफाइन इन द इन आवर व्हाट अबाउट दैट कोडिंग ओके सो इन द कोडिंग दैट इज द डिफरेंट कांसेप्ट इन द रियल टाइम डिफरेंट कांसेप्ट बोथ आर वी नीड टू मैप इट देन ओनली यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड वेयर टू स्टार्ट वेयर टू एंड अंडरस्टैंड गाइस ओके थैंक यू गाइस एनी वन एनी क्वेश्चंस गाइस ऑनलाइन पीपल ऑनलाइन पीपल एनीबॉडी हैविंग एनी क्वेश्चंस ओके गाइस थैंक यू